Hello everybody, welcome to Trans e-learning chemistry videos. Today we'll be discussing about general rules for naming organic compounds and in that we'll be covering the practice problems related to saturated branch chains, hydrocarbons. That means we are talking about alkanes. So uh, let's see what other questions we'll be covering in this video. We will be following the steps and in every step we'll be following the rules to write the IUPAC name. So the first step, identify the longest chain. In this we need to follow the rule 1 and the rule 2. Rule 1 says that we need to identify the parent hydrocarbon chain and this longest chain should be identified in such a way so that the substituents get the least possible number. For that I have to first of all write the chain in an easy manner. Manner. I will write the C2H5 which is an ethyl group as CH2 and CH3 so that it's easy for us to identify the longest chain. Now the numbering. I'll start from here 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 because this seems to be the longest possible change by giving the least possible number to the substituents. Now the second step. We need to verify the lowest set of locants as per the rule 3. To verify this first of all I will write the uh, set of the locants for the numbering I have given starting from the uh, left hand side towards the right hand side. In this case the substituents are present at the third as well as at the fourth position. So in this case the lowest set of locants will be 3 and 4. Now if I start from the right hand side giving this carbon at as one number. This is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. This is the longest chain and in this case if I see the lowest set of locants is again 3 and 4. So this is same. So it doesn't make any difference if I start numbering from the left hand side or I start numbering from the right hand side. So we have verified the lowest set of locants. We need to analyze the substituents whether they are same or different and at what position. Here we have two substituents. This one is the methyl group and this one is also the methyl group. Please remember the substituents of the group uh, which are not included in the longest chain. As both the groups are methyl so we have same uh, substituents we don't have different substituents so the rule 5 that is alphabetical order will not apply in this case. Uh, instead we will be using the uh, prefix here as di which means two because there are two methyl groups and as there are uh, six carbon atoms in the longest chain so in this case we will be using using the root word as hex. Now the fifth and the last step we need to write the name. For writing the IUPAC name first of all we have to write the prefix and then we have to write the root word and then we need to write the suffix. As discussed earlier that we have two type of uh, prefix. In this case when we are naming the alkyl groups uh, we will be taking into consideration the secondary prefix. So uh, while naming the secondary prefix first of all we will mention the position of the methyl groups that is 3 comma 4 and then hyphen and we will use the prefix as di because they are two methyl groups. So di methyl. Please remember one thing that when we are uh, separating one number from another we will use the comma but when we are separating number and an alphabet we will use hyphen. So the prefix is 3 4 dimethyl and the root word will be 6 because the longest chain consists of 6 carbon atoms and the suffix will be ain. This suffix is our primary suffix as discussed earlier. So what does ain stands for? Ain stands for saturated hydrocarbons and saturated hydrocarbons are those in which carbon atoms are bonded to each other through single covalent bond. So the IUPC name of this compound is 3,4-dimethyl hexane. Next question. Write the IUPC name of the following compound. 
In this case, first of all, let us write this and analyze the longest chain as per the uh, step 1 by giving the substituents the least possible number we can. As we need to give the least possible number to the substituent, so if I start from here, uh, the first substituent will get the number 1, 2, 3, 4. But if I start from here, the substituent will get the number 2. So I will start from here, 1, 2, 3, 4. If I go here, 5, 6, we have 6 carbon atoms. And if I continue straight, then 5, 6, Seven. So this is the longest chain we have identified by giving the least possible number to the substituents. Now the steps two, we need to verify the lowest set of locants. First of all, in this case, uh, the set of the locants are two and two because we have two methyl groups here and then we have four. One ethyl group uh, at the four position. Now if I start numbering from some other position like from here, let's see what set of locants I get. One, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. So in this case, uh, I will be getting four, comp six, and six. So if we compare this to, if we start numbering from the left hand side, we get this set of locand. But if we start numbering from the right hand side, we get this set of locand. So out of these two, lower set of locand is this one. So we will eliminate this. And uh, the numbering that we have done from the left hand side is the correct method. Now the third step, we need to analyze the substituents and their position. So here we have two methyl groups present uh, at the second position. And we have one ethyl group present at fourth position. This is the ethyl group. Now as we have different substituent presence, we need to apply the rule 5 that is alphabetical order. Apart from this, we will be using the prefix di because there are two methyl group. The name consists of the prefix plus root word and plus suffix. In this case, we will be using the secondary prefix. And in the prefix, we have to follow the alphabetical order. So we will write the position and the name of the ethyl uh, group first. So as ethyl group is present at the fourth position, so it is 4 hyphen ethyl hyphen 2 2 di methyl. At first we have written the position and then the name of the alkyl group which comes in the alphabetical order first and then we are writing the position of the two methyl groups and di stands for two because there are two methyl groups and then the word methyl. So this is the prefix and in root word we will be using the word hept because there are seven carbon uh, atoms in the parent chain and as a suffix we will use the word ain. Ain stands for saturated hydrocarbon. Saturated hydrocarbons are those in which the carbon atoms are bonded to each other through single covalent bond and in this case we will be using the primary suffix as discussed earlier. So the IUPC name of the following compound is 4-ethyl-2,2-dimethyl Heptane. So that was all about the practice problems on the nomenclature of saturated branch chain hydrocarbons, that is alkanes. Thank you very much for watching this video. For more videos, you can visit our website transelearning.com. Have a great day.